Hello guys, in this video we will discuss the EMF induced in a rotating disc. Now there is a disc which is being hinged at its center and it is rotating with an angular velocity of omega in anti-clockwise sense. The radius of disc is r and this is a, a conducting disc. Now we all know that the EMF induced in a conducting rod which is rotating about one of its end is half b omega l square. And therefore we can assume that this rod is being formed by infinite number of rods which are very closely attached to each other like that, like that. And if all these rods are rotating about one of their end then the EMF induced in all of these rods will be same and that EMF E would be equal to half B omega L square. Now if we replace uh, this disc with a circuit in which we are uh, applying, we have placed the equivalent cell instead of those rods then there would be infinite number of cells which are connected like that and uh, the positive terminal of each cell would be connected at this point and its negative terminal would be connected at this point. Now uh, we can see that all of the cells are connected in parallel because uh, the one terminal of all cells are connected at center and the other terminal is connected at the periphery of the uh, ring which is disc. So uh, these all are in parallel and in parallel combination the equivalent EMF of the circuit is equal to the EMF of any one cell. So the total EMF induced in this disc would be half B omega L square whose positive terminal would be at the center of the disc and negative terminal would be at the periphery of the disc. Thank you.